Hi, my name is Staff Sergeant Beebe, and I'm a U.S. Army recruiter. I joined the Army when I was 17 years old, and back then I really had no idea what my career would look like. Even as each new opportunity arrives for me now, I still have a hard time believing this is my amazing career. I joined the Army because of the pride I saw that soldiers and veterans had. It was different from others I'd met who did not serve. That was a sense of pride that I wanted to experience. Upon my initial entry into the Army, I was a firefighter and later became a drill sergeant in the Army Reserves. I used my GI Bill to go to school for fashion design. After graduating, I reclassed to 11B, infantry. I've now served for 16 years and it still feels like I'm just getting started. Whether you're wondering what to do after high school, whether you've thought about serving your country and community while in school, or you're just curious about a career in the U.S. Army, we're going to try to answer all your questions today. Let's get into the basic qualifications to join the Army. To become an enlisted soldier, you must be a U.S. citizen or permanent resident. You must be 17 to 35 years old. You must be in good physical and moral standing. You must be a high school graduate or equivalent and you must pass the ASVAB. So, what is the ASVAB? It is the Armed Forces Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, and it's used to determine which jobs in the Army you qualify for, and it's necessary to enlist in the Army. You'll be tested on nine subject areas, but your scores in four critical areas, arithmetic reasoning, word knowledge, paragraph comprehension, and mathematics knowledge, will count toward your Armed Forces Qualifying Test Score. You must get a minimum score of 31 to enlist in the United States Army. Here's the thing, wherever your passion and interest lie, the United States Army has a career for that, with more than 150 career paths in art, science, intelligence, combat, aviation, engineering, law, and more. There is no limit to what you can achieve. Here are some examples of Washington students just like you who are living out their dreams in the U.S. Army. Hi, my name is Sophie Zambias and I'm a drone operator for the U.S. Army. I joined the Army because I was really interested in unmanned aviation and there are not that many jobs where you can do that um, to the level that we do in the Army. I think what I love most about my job is that it's always challenging. You have to be able to react at a moment's notice to any changes in the aircraft and be able to potentially land it right away. This is the shadow and one of the coolest things we can do with the shadow is based on the camera down here. This camera allows us to get a lot of information from up in the air that is super helpful to the troops on the ground. So my name is Aiden Fullerton. I graduated from Lake Stevens High School in 2018. I'm currently a private first class in the United States Army. I joined the Army um, mostly because from a young age uh, I wanted to join the military. Um, the Army worked for me perfectly. Everything fit just right for me. Against all enemies. Against, Against all enemies. enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. I always had a sense of duty and I wanted to join the military you know, to serve my country and my community. My job in the Army is I'm an 89 Delta Explosive Ordnance Disposal. Um, it's basically the Army's version of the bomb squad. I graduated basic training, um, then graduated AIT September 13th. Came back here um, doing recruiting, helping out my community with the office that entered me. And then after this, I'm heading over to South Korea Camp Humphreys. In the Army, this is what separates us from other branches. You're able to select your job prior to enlisting. This is the breakdown of your job selection. You can choose the job you're qualified for, how long your contract is, know when and where you're going for basic training, when and where you're going for job training. If you qualify for a bonus, you'll know how much extra you get paid. You'll also know any other training you've chosen be it airborne or ranger school. Let's walk through the process. Basic training is your introduction to Army service. During the nine weeks of basic training, you'll learn basic soldiering skills and be introduced to the core Army values and the soldier's creed. I loved basic. 
It was one of the greatest experiences of my Army career. After you graduate from basic training, you will then transition to your advanced individual training. Here, you'll receive hands-on training and instruction to make you an expert in your career of choice. For some career paths like military police or infantry, after you enlist, your basic training and advanced individual training will be combined into what's called one station unit training. One option that's available for juniors in high school is split option. You can enlist in the U.S. Army Reserve during your junior year and attend basic training the summer before your senior year. You'll be paid for the nine weeks of basic training and then get connected with your reserve unit during your senior year so you can get paid during drill. You can serve both part-time and full-time in the Army. Let's talk about part-time first with the Army Reserve. As a reserve soldier, you'll serve part-time, earning a paycheck while going to school or working a job outside of the Army, and still maintaining many of the benefits of military service. You'll spend one weekend a month on duty and two weeks a year in training. This will allow you to maintain and sharpen your job skills. Active duty soldiers serve full time. The Army counts on active duty soldiers, like myself, for day-to-day -day operations because it's a full-time job. I get paid every two weeks and get 30 days of paid vacation every year. I'm also given the opportunity to attend college full-time with full education benefits. I do all this while still enjoying the things I love to do, like hiking, skydiving, and enjoying time with my family and friends. If you're planning on attending college, the Army can help you on your way. You can earn up to full tuition through scholarships and dozens of financial aid programs. Active duty soldiers get fully covered tuition and fees for up to 36 months through the post 9-11 GI Bill. You also get a yearly stipend for books and supplies and a monthly housing allowance. Army Reserve soldiers have access to the Selected Reserve GI Bill. Under this benefit, reserve soldiers receive almost $400 per month for 36 months to go toward their education. Reserve soldiers also receive $4,000 a year in tuition assistance and up to $50,000 in student loan repayment. If you've ever wanted to travel the globe, we have Army bases around the world. Hawaii, Germany, Japan, Korea, Italy, here in the United States, I've lived in Alabama, South Carolina, and now Washington State. You could be stationed anywhere from Alaska to Arizona to Washington, D.C. to New York and anywhere in between. As a soldier in the Army, you are guaranteed a paycheck. How much you're paid depends on how long you've been in the Army and your rank. Active duty soldiers who enlist as a private or E1 in the Army, your basic pay will start at $20,170 or about $1,700 a month. Again, this amount increases as you further your Army career. And this is just basic pay and doesn't include bonuses, allowances, and other benefits. Reserve soldiers earn what's called drill pay. This is money you earn while training on weekends. If you're a private or an E1, your pay will start at $3,639 a year, plus bonuses, allowances, and other benefits. Thank you for the opportunity to talk about a career choice that has truly changed my life. Your local Army Career Counselor is standing by to answer questions you may have. And follow us on all social media platforms at GoArmySeattle.